So in this video, I am going to be doing question number six. This one is a requested question from paper May, June 2020 of variant 1-1. So let's do that. So Sephora is buying some apples, bananas, and peaches, so three kind of fruits. She can buy packs of six apples, packs of five apples and bananas, and packs of 12 peaches. Okay, different packs. So each pack have different numbers of fruits, right? Now, she needs to buy the same number of fruits. That's her goal, to buy the same number of fruits of each fruit, okay? Calculate the smallest number of packs of apples, bananas, and peaches that she needs to buy. So when you see the same number and the smallest number, it means we have to find the lowest common multiple. Now, how do you find the LCM? Let's take the numbers one by one. So we have six. So what are the factors of six? You would say, okay, six can be divided by two. That will be three. So six is equal to two times three. Now for five, five is pretty simple. It is one times five. And then 12, let's find the factors of 12. Uh, two, that will be six. Two, that will be three. So 12 is two times two times three. Now, how do you find the LCM? So you have to look what prime, prime number do you have here in, in this list? What prime number do you have? You have number two, number three, and number five, right? Now for the first one, where does this number happens the most? So this one happens once, and here it happens twice, so we take this one, two times two. Now we move on to the next, number three, where does it happen the most? Happen one time here, happen one time, so we take only one time. And finally for five same steps happens only once we take five so the LCM is 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is uh, 12 times 5 that will be 60 so 60 is what is the number of fruits number of fruits that she needs to buy for each of them so let's say now we have to find the packs we know that one pack has six six apples now 60 apples, so 60 apples will be how many packs? So one divided by six times 60, that will be 10 packs of apples. So first one is 10. Now same steps, we know that one pack of banana has five bananas. So now 60 bananas, that will be one divided by five times 60, that will be 12, 12 packs of bananas. And last one, uh, same steps. So one pack of peach has 12 peaches. Now 60 peaches, that will be in five, right? So one over 12 times 60, that is five. So let's do that. One over 12 times 60, that will be five. So she will be, she will be buying 10 packs of apples, 12 packs of bananas, and five packs of peaches. But in total, she will have the same number of fruits, which is 60, 60, and 60. And this is what you want here, but the packs is 10, 12, and five. And that is your question number six. I hope that was somewhat helpful. And as always, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.